The Perception High Life is your one-stop shop for fun on the water. The High Life is an 11-foot kayak with smooth tracking and enough stability to paddle as a stand-up paddleboard. The super low profile is reminiscent of a sub, but still provides a steady platform for kayaking. Perfect for a day trip, this sit-on-top kayak features a fold-down seating system with a cooler storage area under the seat, a rear tank well for additional storage, and a center cup holder for easy access. Swim decks make exit and re-entry for kids and pets a breeze, and the traction pads on the bow, midship, and stern help you keep your footing while paddling. Two gear tracks double as carry handles and mounting points for endless accessory options, and the easy-to-install toolless fin provides smooth, straight tracking. The High Life is available in two colors, blue and lime. Intex Excursion Pro Kayak, super tough laminate material with a polyester core for high strength and durability, ensuring high impact and abrasion resistance, while retaining lightweight and portability. High pressure inflation provides extra rigidity and stability, with high pressure spring-loaded valves for easy inflation and fast deflation. 3-ply super tough construction employs a high molecular PVC that is unaffected by gasoline, oil, and saltwater. It is highly resistant to damage from abrasion, impact, and sunlight. It also permits more air pressure for rigidity. Includes 2. Specially designed removable skews for optimal maneuverability through deep and shallow waters. 2. Floor-mounted footrests. 2. Integrated recessed fishing rod holders. 2. Adjustable bucket seats and so much more. Thanks for watching. The Perception Rambler is a playful sit on top that is easy to paddle for fun seekers of all ages and skill levels and is great for lakes, bays, rivers, and light surf. Light and easy to manage, the Rambler family features a sit on top seat, molded in footwells, side and bow and stern handles, and a nicely sized tank well with bungees. The Rambler is offered in two sizes, a 9.5 foot model and a 13.5 foot tandem model so you can share the fun with a paddling buddy. Hey guys, Scott Byers here, brand manager for Perception Kayaks. Today, I want to show you a new fishing kayak, the Outlaw 11.5. We're going to walk bow to stern and go over the features of this kayak. Just know this, this kayak is loaded. On both the bow and the stern of the kayak, we have these unique molded in handles that allow you to both grab from the inside or grab underside if you want to. Next up on the kayak, we do have the traditional bow mesh cover. But what's really nice about this is we do have a nice spot for your paddle to uh, land in. The bow handle also doubles as a way to get that paddle a little more vertical if you're in a standing position. Beneath this uh, bow mesh cover, we do have a scupper that allows you to run wiring for your fish finders, depth finders, whatever you may need. And beneath this on the kayak, we have a molded in scupper that allows you to mount that transducer for your fish finder. Front and center, you'll have a molded solo mount recess that will adapt the perception solo mount so you can mount a myriad of fishing accessories to that. Moving back into the cockpit, you'll notice a really large and wide open area. We wanted the kayak to feel very open, very user friendly, and give you plenty of space to work. Along these channels here, there will be traction pads that come standard. And then alongside the kayak, your side handles are also cracks as well for mounting additional accessories. Another great feature of this kayak is the seating area. We have optimized the seating height so that it's perfect for both moving from a seated to a standing position as well as from paddling. The seat also removes and moves out of the way into a storage position if you want access to this area. It's a quick bungee lashing, collapse the seat, and just behind the seat there's a slot for the seat to drop into. This opens up the center area which is compatible with a variety of coolers. Mostly a 35 liter cooler will fit in the tray in the center. Another great feature of this pack is this multifunctional tray area here on each side. In addition you have a series of trays here which are great for just tackle in general. But also as an aftermarket item, Perception is offering our side saddle bags. These quickly lash into the kayak and then you have access to a quick bag for a bigger, larger Plano boxes or whatever gear you might want inside of there. Also on the back of the kayak, just behind the seating system, you have four rod holders called the double barrel rod holder. Easily drops in, easy to access your rods quickly behind you. 
Behind the seat, you also have a large tank well with bungee lashing. This is designed to work really well with our Perception Splash Crate. Uh, it gives you a quick latch opportunity to pull the crate in, and of course inside the crate you're going to have additional rod holders, additional tackle, plano boxes, whatever you may need. Also within the tank well, we have a large recess for a deck plate. It gives you additional storage opportunity, but in combination with this deck on the stern of the kayak, you also have a nice flat that allows you inside access if you want to mount power poles or motor or anything like that in the back. Just wide open space. Beneath the kayak on the stern, we've also installed dual skid plates. This allows you to move your boat easier down to the water without having to worry about compromising the hull of the kayak. The Outlaw 11.5 launching in the fall of 2019. So good it should be illegal. Well, it's the 19th of February and it's going to be 70 degrees a day, so I uh, figured I'd take the new kayak out. Test it out and see see how it all does. Um, my other kayaks are sit in kayaks. This is my first uh, sit on top, so gonna see how it does. Um, haven't had it out yet. Um, several kind of cool features of this one. This one, <coughs> of course, has the uh, dry box container in here which you can open up here uh, the cool thing about this one is you this actually comes out and you can do it as a pull behind uh, behind the kayak and it floats so you can tie it off then it opens that whole compartment there <clears throat> um, you have the two fish holders my overall impression of it is um, really good. I really, really liked it. Um, <clears throat> you know, I researched this thing online. It did get some pretty bad reviews. Uh, it also got some really good re reviews, so I wasn't really sure what to think about it. Um, the stability of it was really, really good. I did like the uh, openness of it, um, where my... Sitting in kayaks, I was kind of limited um, on my movements inside the kayak. Uh, but the stability was awesome. I really liked how sturdy it was. Um, I didn't think it would glide through the water as well as my other kayaks. Because um, they kind of have a V-bottom uh, boat, uh, V-bottom to them. This is more flat. Uh, but it, it tread in the water really, really good.